Mimi Gucci speak the garamptious delicious tourists. Welcome to your live tarot reading. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to take a look at you and your person, my baby, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Let's take a look at what is going on here, my baby. Also, Taurus, bear in mind with, with these you versus them readings, we are assuming some kind of a rift or separation happening between you and your baby. All right, you got the Three of Cups, the Page of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Star. Okay. So, you know, whatever happened here, um, you know, but Bill, I feel like this person is still um, celebrating you. Even in the separation, they're celebrating you, they're exalting you. Um, you know, this is someone... <sighs> Dark times came upon this connection, came upon this relationship. But despite of everything, this person is still choosing you above everybody else. You know, no matter what happened here, no matter what they said, what you said, you're still number one in their thoughts and their deeds and their actions and how they breathe the air. They're just like so in love with you still, no matter what. They do see you as someone who found something out though, or someone who knows too much, someone who's just onto something here, Taurus. This is not my favorite test energy. You know how it is, Taurus. We're both fixed signs, but Bill, Mommy is a Scorpio. So, you know, we don't like kind of, you know, devious. We don't like devious babies. There's something devious about this Bill because they feel like they know too much. Because Taurus is all about the righteousness. You know, Taurus is all about doing the right thing. Uh, and so are most of the fixed signs. So there's something here about the person. They don't want you to know something. <sighs> It's like, you know, this is a funny energy. Somebody's loving you behind your back. You never would know that this person is still loving you. You never would know that they're not over you. You never would know that you're their number one. They're loving you behind your back. Six of Wands uh, at the bottom of the deck. There is still hope in this person for a healing in this connection. I still hope they can heal it. Something here also about maybe when you were together, Taurus, uh, but Bill, I feel like maybe this person liked to show you off to their friends or like they like to brag about you because you were bra highly braggable, highly braggable, but Bill, and it's almost like they, they want to show you off again. Or if that didn't happen, it was a, a bone of contention. This is good. That's what they want to do. They want to show you off. They want the world to know that you're together and that you belong to them. Aw, baby. Also, Taurus, before I get into the reading, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot if you're new and if you are a returning blue angel thank you i appreciate you i love you i see you baby give mommy a kiss mm -hmm. one more kiss mm -hmm. so taurus as you know i always say this or already said this once i screw you sun and rising but i'm always manifesting that taurus energy into my life all right because I'm high, high, high water, highly strong water, and I need a tourist to contain me. I need that tourist energy uh, um, in my community to uh, give me that little, <laughs> little grounding, little emotional grounding. And I really appreciate you, Boo Boo. So thank you for for allowing me to man uh, manifest you into my life. Let's see what happened here in the past to make the situation so. Someone is hoping to cut through. Someone is hoping. This is like funny. It's like it's almost like. So things ended or dissipated because, and not so much you accused them of something, but you you found something out or you questioned someone. You were like, so what's this all about, you know? And this person had no, like, they were stumped. They had no answer, so they had to almost disappear. If someone ghosted you, it was because they felt stumped or they felt like you were about to find something out about them that they didn't wish to know. Um, you know what I'm saying? And now they're coming through and their intentions to come in with a good argument. You know, <laughs> they got themselves a lawyer, spiritually speaking, and it is themselves in their own soul. They, they, they want to rebut, uh, your argument and your question. Ah, uh, it is someone who's coming through with the seven of swords, uh, the king of pentacles and the knight of wands in the past. This is a very fiery, passionate situation. If it was a new connection, oh my gosh, by the way, Taurus, I really feel the spirits behind me today. So, oh my gosh the spirits are really really here with very large wings so mm, they're darker spirits but like you know in a good way because it just means they're, they're coming from from the underworld uh so so they know a lot of things they know a lot of generations of things about life and death and love um this is a very passionate connection um straight from the underworld. I don't know why that's coming through. You know, past life connection, something, you know, the spirits brought you together with this person for some reason to work something through. Um, just like the, de like the desire here is like off the charts, baby. This is like highly scrub a highly sparkly situation. All right, stuff happening in the bedroom. Love Brandon Center. 
<laughs> you got the uh, King of Pentacles. That could very well be you, King Queen, anyone between my baby Taurus. You know, feeling your best, feeling yourself, giving the, the boo boo of yourself. But the problem with that boo boo is they did appreciate it, baby, but they were lying about something or hiding something or being sneaky, seven of swords. They really were being sneaky about something, and that's what you knew that, that was going down. This is the downfall of this entire relationship. Somebody sneaked out, you know, either they said they wanted out or they just outright ghosted, but it was a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky behavior. Uh, if it was a more established connection, it was someone who was up to that sneakiness for a while, for a long time, no matter how passionate, for, forgiving, and scrumptious you were, no matter how much heart and warmth you gave into the relationship, this person just kept being sneaky and sneaky and sneaky. I think um, it could have been a bunch of different things. I think if it was an established connection, there could have been sneakiness about like just themselves. Like it's almost like somebody had a plan B, which people, you know, like, you know, that's that's not a great look for a Taurus or a Scorpio. Um, so mommy gets it. Like, or if, like, like I say, like if I sign someone kind of sneaking around, like they were in a relationship with you, maybe 20 year old marriage, but they had a plan B just in case things don't work out. Uh, they could have had like a little money, honey, money, money, honey pot or something like that. Hidden away money, stuff like that. Doing investments behind your back. Could have been someone just sneaking around being a little, little red foxy fox. Um, let's see what the sneaking around was about. And if it was a new connection, baby i do see someone just not being a hundred percent honest about where they came from and what they represent meaning you know maybe they weren't divorced maybe they were maybe the divorce was pending let's see yeah it was aspirational somebody was um be careful Taurus. someone could even be you could even be um you know, some, you could even be dealing with someone who has like a false identity. Like I know this is like super extra, like totally off, whatever, but I will see like um, a scammer or like somebody with a false identity. They used to be X, now they're X, Y, Z, you know, like whatever it was. Like it's like someone's like, hmm. Uh, vibing with you under false pretenses if it's a new person. Um, I don't think they're necessarily trying to scam you, but I think it is someone who's like not who they say they are. Uh, it's like, you know, probably like this, look, this is a general reading. Always remember, take everything with the, I say with a grain of salt because I am just a random bimbo on the internet. So this is a general reading. Take it as it resonates. Mm, in case it does, you know, be careful that it's not somebody actually like literally impersonating somebody else or something like that. Um, it could also be aspirational. Somebody told you a bunch of lies about their uh, abilities, financial abilities, um, about you know what it is that they offer in a relationship, and specifically, you know how free they are. Uh, the star is Aquarius. It's about freedom. It's about pursuing the things that you love, doing the things that you want. And I feel like this person can't because maybe they're not as divorced as they as they say and stuff like that. So take these uh, take these messages as they resonate. They want to come with a rebuttal. They've thought about it. You know they had a little think. Could could have taken them th uh, three hours three days three weeks three months even three years for some of you it is someone who's just persistently chosen you over this amount of time they're coming in on the star again the star so they're coming in uh to make their wishes uh, come true come <laughs> come through wishes fishies uh come true they want they want to make their mm, fishies in the sea their their wishes come true so they will be coming in <sighs> It's going to be soon. We're just ending Aquarius season now. So it could just be, you know, like mm, anytime soon, Bibu, anytime between now and I would say even like, you know, late springtime. Um, but um, timing and tarot is a slippery fish. So, you know, take take that with a total grain of salt. It's the least uh, reliable part of the tarot. But as soon as they're ready to make their wishes uh, come, come true, they're going to be coming in. There's a lot of very strong, um, you know, between Aquarius and Gemini energy even. Because you've got the King of Swords next to it. So a lot of uh, air energy between Aquarius and Gemini mm, season. That person will be coming in to make their dream come true again. But be wary, Taurus. Bit bill because that bit bill that douche flute is actually coming in with the same story so <laughs> they're gonna be coming in telling you the same story about themselves so if it was like if you did find someone who's like a former criminal living a false life with false identity they're just gonna persist that they're john smith you know <laughs> joanna smithson like whatever you know anyone in between it, be careful they're not telling you selling you the same dream the same lie Mm, does this person love you? Yes, it's almost charming. Even if it's a hardened criminal or psychopath or some kind of a weirdo, they actually love you in a charming way. They, they love you scrumptiously. 
Uh, it's a psycho, but they love. They they know how to. This psycho knows how to love, baby. So I'm going to tell you. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Scorpio. Could be a Sagittarius or another Taurus, uh, and uh, or an Aquarius. Um, in any case, uh, they you know, whatever. They just they worship you, Taurus. What can I say? And I agree because you are worship Uh and you are scrumptious. Uh, all right. This is what I have for you today, my baby. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel. And you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and of course, uh, like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. I'll see you next time, my babies. Stay sparky, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Another good video.